F&B sales have dropped more than 80% this year. Many restaurants won't survive the COVID-19 pandemic. But at StoreHub, we've noticed an interesting pattern of success that showed us the future of dining. When we started in 2020, no one could have imagined what was coming. It's been a very painful and challenging situation for many business owners. I mean, look at the F&B industry. We have over 200,000 F&B businesses in Malaysia, big and small. And the reality is, most of them have seen a major drop in sales. And in the worst case scenario, possible closure. I mean, even big players like Delicious Group have decided to close their shutters for good. This comes to no surprise because while fixed costs stay high, sales have been so low. And even with lockdown restrictions lifting, they have not bounced back. So will things ever go back to normal? No, we're all in for the new normal. Now, a study by Imperial College says that we're likely to see spikes in COVID-19 cases until a vaccine can be mass produced and distributed. Experts estimate that this will likely only happen in 2021 or even 2022. In the meantime, countries like Malaysia are working on reopening the economy. But as long as there are spikes in cases, you're going to see a loosening and tightening of restrictions as we all work together to try and get this pandemic under control. This means you'll need to offer food delivery when dining isn't allowed. And then you'll also have to implement social distancing and contact tracing when dining is allowed. We've noticed an interesting pattern among our most successful businesses during this time. And here's what they did. When restrictions are loose, one, they collect and grow their customer database as much as possible. And they work on updating their online profiles and even building a loyal social media following. Now, this is an important one because if customers can't find you, they can't order from you. Two, they get themselves an effective order management system to handle the complexities of multi-channel sales. So this lets them provide their customers with a safe, contactless and cashless dining experience while dining is actually still allowed. And then when restrictions are tightened, they can leverage on their loyal customer database to send out announcements and promos via SMS, email, and social media. They also avoid having to pay high commission fees to food delivery partners by running their own automated delivery service when dining isn't allowed, thanks to the order management system that they got during the looser restriction period. To keep your F&B business surviving and even thriving during this period, know your customers, get into digital marketing, diversify your sales channel, set up automated ordering and go contactless and cashless. And while you're at it, use an all-in-one operating system like StoreHub that lets you do everything I just said, all in one place. We're in the new normal, and the new reality is this. You must evolve your F&B business if you want to succeed. So, are you ready for the future of dining? <laughs>